Today I'm going to explain the advantages of using the stampede catch in basketball and how to leverage it to get to the rack. All right, let's talk about the huge advantages that stampede cuts give you in game. Now, what is a stampede catch? A stampede catch, a stampede cut, is actually when off the catch of the basketball, you attack immediately, not allowing the defender to set up meaning they cannot get established in a defensive stance. So you're running through the pass and you're attacking immediately with immediacy on your mind, with a sense of urgency to get to the rack. What we're gonna do is give you an example away from the basket to set up the skill. I'm gonna teach you exactly how we teach attack basketball. We work on form first. F-O-R-M, form is to get it correct, to do the drill right away from the basket. Then speed, we go to a game spot to shoot the game shot. We call the stampede catch and go at game speed. And then contact, if I was after that, then I would actually play against Ali in this drill. We're gonna avoid contact. I wanna teach you in this video more than anything how to stampede, catch and go. And again, the objective is to put your defender on their heels with immediacy and you attack them right away on the catch. Here's the drill I wanna show you first we're gonna walk through. As we kick off the stampede, catch and go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we call a bust out pass. Meaning Ali's gonna take one dribble and bust out and pass me the ball. I'm going to receive it by running and the key is to get shoulder to shoulder on her. Again, simulating the stampede catch and go. Okay, walking through this real quick. Ali, you're gonna pass me the ball. I'm gonna go right by you. Okay, right hand. Same concept, Ali, I'll give you the ball. Go right by me with your right hand. Okay, right, let's go left hand now. Catch it, pass it, boom, fire. Right on the catch of immediate threat. Right, here you go, boom, left hand. All right, let's pick it up. Let's go right hand, Ali. Right hand, let's go. Pick it up. I want to go right by her. Right? Right hand, Ali. Right hand, Ali. Good. Nice. Let's go left hand. Let's go left hand. Left hand, left hand. I want to go right by her. Your left hand, Ali. Your left hand. Exactly. Again, we want to learn how to attack just like that because that's exactly how you become effective on a stampede catch and go. Again, the gist of this is you do not want your defenders to set up. You also are learning how to attack and run through the pass. All right, so here we go. So I start with the basketball. Right, just like we did in practice, away from the basket, Allie's gonna run through the pass and attack that chair. First, it's a speed run. We're not stopping, she's getting to the rack. She's gonna go two to the right, two to the left. Ready, go, run. Go. Go, one more. Here we go. Right next to that chair, right next to the chair, Allie. That's it, good, perfect. Okay, now, to progress the skill, we're gonna do what we call a stampede stun and go. A stun move, it's like a start stop. It's a change of speed. When you want to change speeds, the objective of that, you change the defender's stance. So now we're going to stun and go, Ali. Okay? So we're going to attack the chair. You get right there, right? Give them a good example of it. Okay? You're going to throw me that ball. I'm going to start stun and go. Okay? It's a stun and go. Make sense? Let's go, Ali. Here we go. Run through the pass. Stun and go. Good. Good footwork. Good small, choppy step. Let's go one more. Let's go stun and go. Ready? Run through the pass. Stun and go. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now we talked about stampede and go. Speed. Stun and go. Change speeds to change your defender's stance. Now your defender's going to jump in front of you. What are you going to do? You're going to learn to change directions. So now we go with that same start, stop, stun mentality, but we change directions. Let's go. Stampede. Stun. There you go, change. Get to the right. Good. Good job. Nice. Mix up that change direction. Good, good. Way to go. Way to go. Love it. Love it. Now, progressing the skill. The three ways you can attack on this where you're not stuck. First, stampede and go. Catch it with immediacy. Place your defenders on their heels. Do not let them set up, right? When they kind of catch up, first change their stance by changing speeds. Stun them. That's how you drop them. Drop their hips, they stay still. And third, when they cut you off, now you have a solution to change directions. Let's get it. We're trying to reach 6,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Last situation I wanna share with you of how you can work on this stampede catch and go is how you can respace the court, especially in a zone situation. You can do this against man to man, 
But when teams are playing zone, Ali, let's say you are the point guard. And let's say, for example, now this chair is, your, is Ali's teammate, right? They're like in a 3-2 setting. She pretends to pass it. The rules in the zone state, I can't stay here. I have to shift over. Now, let's talk about the last progression to teach you on how to stampede catch and go. This is really good for zone situations. I always hear from coaches all the time as far as solutions where teams may not be able to shoot that well from outside, but how can we attack like a man to man? Well, stampede catch and go, especially when you reach space, is the way to go for me. Let's set up the situation. Let's say, for example, my teammate, we're in a zone, I'm one of the guards. My teammate, is denying Ali's defender here as they need to be. I'm on the basketball. I'm kind of here. Ali passes the ball, right? Boom. I now need to shift over to show help responsibility because I don't want that person driving. Now, Ali's going to shift over to the slot right there. Perfect. She can't go to the wing because they may be in a 3-2 set. She realizes there's a gap to attack. Now what happens is, again, imagine now that defender that was here. I'm Ali's teammate now. Ali's now going to stampede catching that gap and go. That gap right there is where you want to attack. Why? Think. Ali's teammate is right here. There's no defender there because I had to shift over. So again, a stampede catch and go running through the pass. This is how you want to attack gaps in the zone. You want to go and get to the heart of the defense because if they collapse, that's not how you kick out. If they don't, you go into your scoring options. We're going to do it off a skip pass. There you go. Ball over step piece. Nice, Allie. Good. Good. Let's go. Two more. Go. 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 Yeah. There you go. Get downhill. Let's go. Last one. Over the top. Pass coming over the top. Attack. Good. Good job. Perfect. Again, I love that run through the pass mentality. Don't allow the defense to set up. This is really good to use when you have to re-space the court in a zone situation because now you get to the heart of the zone, which is where they don't want you to get and make everybody collapse. You don't have a scoring option. Now you become a playmaker. You distribute the teammates who have a better scoring option. I want to make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.